You may not have noticed, but the dollar fell about 1% on Thursday. Let's talk more about the greenback with the Trading Nation team. Gina Sanchez of Chantico Global. Boris Slosberg with BK Asset Management. Uh, Gina, there's uh, obviously a lot going on with a, uh, a very long and wide-ranging presidential news conference. So many people's eyes maybe weren't on the market. What do you make of the, uh, the dollar weakness? As, as Look, little as it was. Listen, it's one day. We're not going to make a trend, but you get the point. Well, I think the trend is still going to be for dollar strength, but I think that this dollar weakness is interesting and telling because Yellen was really out talking the dollar up. I mean, she was making fairly hawkish comments, and that should lead to a stronger dollar. And generally speaking, all else equal, that is what should happen. I think a lot of this speaks to a little bit of political uncertainty and some of the uncertainty that's being introduced into the markets right now. And I think that that is probably what's to blame for this. I don't think that it's going to last for very long, but... You know, you're right. It doesn't make a trend. I think the general trend is still up. Do you see a dollar euro parity anytime soon, Gina? <laughs> well, that's not unreasonable right now. Not un not unreasonable. All right, Bo Boris Slosberg, do you do you agree that the the trend is up for the U.S. dollar, or would you take the other side of that trade? Right now, I would take the other side of the trade. The market is not buying what Janet Yellen is selling, and that is actually a very very telling sign. You know, when the Fed chief says pretty much unabashedly that she's going to go to three rate hikes and she sort of talks up the economy and yet the market remains skeptical. That's telling me something. This is goes, by the way, not just to the dollar, but to the fixed income market as well. The 10 year just cannot get up um, above the two and a half percent level. And that tells me that both markets remain skeptical about the continuity of this potential growth as we go forward. As Gina said, I think there's just tremendous amount of uncertainty as to how the next quarter is going to develop. And part of it, part of the huge uncertainty is, of course, the political uncertainty. Um, that's involved right now. And I think all of those issues are making it very, very dangerous to be long dollar at this point. Dollar yen, which is a key, key barometer, I think, of dollar strength, has failed multiple times to take out the 115 level. Yeah. And until it does, until it really does go up to that level, I think the dollar is a sell, not a buy. Okay. Well, hey, you, you got, if you guys want to trade, you know, buy and sell to each other, you've got, you, you're on <laughs> opposite sides. You got the bid in the ask right there. It's perfect. Uh, Gina and Boris both making good arguments. Thank you both very much. Folks, thank you for watching Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan, and we'll see you next time.